In Adobe InDesign, we save and work in a file called an InDesign document that has a .indd extension. But there are a lot of other file types you can save or export your work as, depending on your needs. In this video, you'll save a practice file and explore some of the different formats available when you save or export. To follow along, you can either open an InDesign file you have, or open this file from the practice files you downloaded for this tutorial by choosing File, Open. To save a file, you can choose File, Save. In this case, you'll save this file with another name, essentially making a copy by choosing Save As. Saving a copy of a file is a great way to make a backup for yourself, or to save the state the document is currently in, so maybe you can go back to that point later, for instance. So choose File, Save As. In the Save As dialog box, you can choose a location to save the file. Make sure that InDesign document is the chosen format. Change the file name, maybe adding something like v2 for version 2. Then click Save to save the file. Now you'll find that in order for someone else to open the InDesign file you just saved, they'll need to have InDesign or Adobe InCopy on their computer. That also means that if they can open the file with InDesign, they can probably edit it. At times, you may want to just send a visual of the artwork you're creating in InDesign so someone who doesn't have InDesign can view it. You can do this by saving your document as a PDF. Anyone with a free PDF reader can then view the PDF file. So let's save this file as a PDF. Choose File, Export. In the Export dialog box that opens, you can choose Adobe PDF Print as the format. You'll see other formats in this menu, like EPUB, which is typically used for electronic books or ebooks. You'll also see PDF Interactive. That's a PDF that has interactive features like buttons, links, video, and more. Or maybe HTML for a website. To save as a PDF, make sure Adobe PDF Print is chosen and click Save. In the Export Adobe PDF dialog box, you can change options depending on what you're using the PDF for maybe to post it on a website, or print it, or both. You'll learn more about saving for PDF and the options in the last part of this Getting Started series called Share InDesign Projects. For now, click Export to create the PDF. Now you may see this PDF Comments panel open. If you do see it, come up to the PDF Comments tab at the top, right-click on it, and choose Close. You'll learn more about working with panels and different content in the workspace, in the next video. You can close the open file in InDesign by choosing File, Close without saving if asked. Knowing how to save or export your files in Adobe InDesign also allows you to save copies of your InDesign files, maybe to create a version of the document you're working on or share your design with others for review as a PDF.